What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, I just gotta keep pushing forward on stuff. Um, just keep picking away at certain projects until we find out what's going on. Uh, if I look tired and stressed out, it's because I am. I haven't been sleeping because I'm super stressed with this whole dash situation. Anyways, speaking of the dash situation, that's uh, what we're going to start on in this part of the uh, tip for today. I don't know how we're, this video is going to take me by the time it's finished. But this part, for uh, what we're going to be doing, is uh, trimming out some of that inside there. That's what I'm going to start doing anyways. So sorry about that, folks. I'm trying to finagle my hands around stuff here. Um, I'm going to start cutting like that up there. Trying to trim some of this out more. Stuff like that. Just cut it so I can get this plug out. So that I can uh, get better access to those wires in there. Because like we said, we need the light blue and a dark blue. And I'll show you guys all what I mean in the diagram. Because I have all that stuff uh, on the table uh, when I get to it. So, but that's, uh, <laughs> there. That's what, uh, where I'm going to begin today. Uh, I got pretty much... Everything I need here on the table. I got this guy. I got some, you know, cutters and I got my crimson soldering iron for when I. Uh, here, let me zoom out. There we go. For when I um, get the soldering the stuff in and pinning it into the plug, which we'll talk about as well. So for now, I'm gonna get in there and I'm just gonna start cutting away at stuff. Hopefully, I don't have to take the dash out. I might have to. So, but first thing I'm doing, I'm gonna pop the hood and I'm gonna unhook the battery just to be safe. Uh, until I get to the wires I need, then I'll tape everything else off, hook the battery back up, and we'll see if they're actually the ones we need. So, fingers crossed, folks. All right, as you guys can see, I got the uh, dark blue and the light blue wire out. Uh, this, sorry guys. This just pops right out of here. I broke this with my pliers instead of having to cut anything. Made it super easy. Because, like, this whole thing, it's hard to do with one hand. So, but now it all comes out. So, it's going to make soldering up, wiring up stuff super easy. Um, this will be able to be taped up easier and better. And uh, able to access it for the future, which is really good. So, I like that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to uh, tape all this up, and then we're going to test these wires here. But well, before that, I'll go to the book and I'll show you guys what I mean by, or why I chose these two. So, that way you guys don't think I'm just pulling this coloring out of my ass. Alright folks, as you can see, typical exterior lighting system for a uh, GMT 400, apparently. Let me zoom back out. One of these things, right? goes like this. Your turn power comes in, light blue, right, and it goes in here and it switches, right, it does all that kind of jazz, I don't know how any of that stuff works. Sorry about that. I don't know how any of that stuff works, but then it comes down, right, power, it powers it from the flasher, and then light blue, dark blue, go to instrument cluster, Left turn, right turn. Okay? So, that, in all reality, when I hook the battery back up and uh, turn the key over a little bit and hit the switch, it should work. Let's find out. Battery's hooked up. Let's uh, see what happens here. I got the uh, test light right there. I got it um, just clamped on there. It's hard to see. Yeah, the other side's taped. So now let's zoom back out. Let's see what happens here. I'll turn put the key in. Turn it. We will flip that down. You can hear it. Let's see what happens. Alright, so that means that that works. How about the hazards? Oh, it's tangled up here. Yep, 
so it's gonna flash the hazards too. Awesome. Let me turn that back. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, unhook the battery again, swap them over, and see if the uh, right side will do it. Hopefully it does. Then uh, we'll get into talking about how to, uh, here, let me turn this light back on. Then we'll get back into talking about how to pin it into the back of this plug here. And you use that one and the one right diagonal to it. So right beside the purple and the one right below it. I found out about that through a YouTuber. It's like uh, Trailer Park Motorsports, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Before I... Yeah, I'm going to check quick and I'll let you guys know. And I will put a link to his video where he did all like tells teaches you how to do this more in depth with uh, better better editing um, on a third gen Camaro. Uh, it's just everything the same stuff applies with this truck because GM never okay the thing about it is is the third gen gen Camaro ran until ninety two. These things started in eighty eight, so there's a wiring crossover there. GM never changed stuff, right? So the only thing they changed in 98 is the fuel pump ohms, but we'll get into that as well. That's one of the things I have to change here with this purple, I mean, uh, sorry, there we go, purple wire here. So let's check out the uh, right side. All right, I got the battery back hooked back up. I put uh, caps on them. Just makes it easier to test. Uh, let's uh, zoom out, turn the light off. Doing this one-handed is a pain. I'll flip that up and we'll put it in. Hey, check it out. Doesn't work in this one. Come on. Nope. Right on. Bonus. Well, with that, I'm going to uh, start getting things back together proper. Um, it was Trailer Park Motorsports. I will put a uh, link in the description below uh, to his video on um, the more in-depth uh, stuff on the like on this. When it comes, like, he's got videos on setting up the fuel. He's got videos on setting up everything you need to know. I'm um, just like uh, using basically what I learned from them or him and applying it to this uh, OBS stuff for you guys. So, which is basically the same thing. <laughs> so, but that's, uh, yeah, that's what I got to do now. Oh, um, right. I don't have the book, the dash book, um, but IO, not, IO, IO8. Apparently, is the left one, and IO9 is the right, according to uh, everything that you learned in that video. So when I get the book, I'll uh, show you guys what I mean more. But for now, like I said, I'm just going to tinker around with stuff, and uh, the video heads me from there. But uh, found the signal lights. That's like a, num a huge step. So signal lights and fuel. We're going to have all three of those to reprogram once the dash comes back. I can't wait. Hopefully, I get word. I, to me, this is Saturday. Yesterday morning, I well, Thursday, I emailed Holly and I was like, hey, what the hell is going on here? Like, I'm getting word from uh, UPS that there's no international invoice and I have to take care of it and all this. But then they emailed me back and they're like, that's not right. Like, e or Holly emailed me back Friday, which would be yesterday. They're like, well, that's not right, blah, 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 blah. And uh, they said they should have an answer by the end of the day. Well, today is Saturday. I still haven't heard nothing. So hopefully I hear something Monday. And we can let you guys know what else is going on there. But for now, I got to go and grab some wire. Wire those in. Pin them up. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done and the dashes back together. I'll show you where they go. So remember, the light blue wire, I-08 goes to, or is the, the light blue wire goes to IO8, and the dark blue wire goes to IO9. 
switch 12 volt sir uh, apparently there's like 12 volt switch so if that's the case maybe i can get a dimmer light like a brights that'd be cool too anyways i'm gonna stop rambling now and end this clip and we'll be back with more hopefully all right guys decided i would run home quick grab the book just so i can uh, get some more of this done um unfortunately it doesn't say much in here but if you check out the guy uh, Trailer Park Motorsports video, uh, which I'll link, like I said, I'll link down below. He's got the like if you go on to Holly, you can actually download like the PDF and it has all the stuff on it. But every time that I try to like upload or screen capture anything, I get like it doesn't save. So I don't know if that's like some kind of embedding error. But anyways, now it was light blue, which is the left to eight, and the right is the dark blue and that's to nine so what I did is I crimped I went home I said when I grabbed the book ah, zoom is not my friend <laughs> went home grabbed a couple of wires from the bin cut them uh, just crimped them onto those blue connectors just for now to, just until we know everything works so, and I'm going to uh, plug them in and then when the dash comes back we will finish up showing you how to get them to work and maybe even by then we'll have a, a brights figured out as well but for more, like I said guys for more information check out the park motorsports they it was they were a huge lifesaver like if I hadn't found the video I wouldn't have known how to do this because there's like no info unfortunately so but anyways I'm gonna plug this in and uh I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys, we got everything all back together, as you can see. I even did a bunch of work in here, cleaned everything up. As you can see, too, everything's all pinned right. Got my fuel pump, or uh, my fuel level right here, the purple. And then I've got the light blue to number eight, and the dark blue to number nine. So we'll be able to, my big fat thumbs. Anyway, so we got number 30 right there. So now hopefully, when I get a dash, we'll be able to hook it up, plug it in, and we'll be able to finish off that part of the programming of it, which will be another video on its own. Uh, yeah, I guess this is, will be, I, I don't know, if I can't figure out anything with this, I'll have to do an ender. But uh, we got her done. Figured out where the signal lights are, and got them wired into the plug. So now, once, uh, once the um, dash comes back, I'll be able to uh, plug it in and tell it what those two are, and we'll be able to program it. But if you guys don't want to wait till then, you can see it at uh, Trailer Park Motorsports. <laughs> I'll, like I said, I have the, I'll link it down below. But right now, I'm going to do a cold start. Tahoe hasn't ran for a few days, so well, more than a few days, <laughs> because I haven't had a. Uh, gauges or anything or then it's been too cold the last time I was here I forgot my keys so and I have the laptop but I'm gonna plug it in no need for it really so make sure everything is clear nothing's gonna ground out on nothing what, what was that there we go I heard some weird popping sounds all right guys let's see what happens It'll sound better uh, once I bit get my gauges back and I get back to tuning on it. I haven't done any more tuning or nothing on it uh, just because of that. But otherwise, yeah, she's ready to go now. Now I just need the damn gauges back, Holly. <laughs> or UPS. 
Get him to Holly so I can get my darn gauges back so I can get this video finished. All right, guys, it's been like a week since I picked up the camera for this stuff. Uh, forgot the darn keys to the Tahoe. I wanted to do a cold start, but I forgot the darn keys again. But that's where we're going to end it. Um, I did do something really cool, though. I printed off one of these. You can get it off of uh, Holly's website. Okay. So I can show you guys what I was talking about. And then I got some uh, some updates here on the on the dash. All right, so we'll go. Okay, this is like your your tells you what all your IOs do and stuff, right? All your pins and stuff do. Okay, but, but this is what I was talking about here. Ah, uh, sorry guys. Uh, switch to 12 volt input. 12 volt switches input to the dash. An example of this would be the turn signal indicators. Right, provides a small blah blah blah. So, uh, this is it's cold in here. So we go back to this, right? Switch to 12 volt input. We got eight, nine. So that's what we did. Left and right, and then we got ten. We could use as well. So I might see. Maybe we can use that for the the brights, like the the bright indicator. I'm gonna do some more research. But that's, uh, that's it for that. I just wanted to show you guys the book part. Uh, for more information, like I said, check out Trailer Park Motorsports video. I'll put a link in the description, as well as, well as a link to our Patreon. Yeah, I decided to start up. I'm just going to link it, and if anything happens, it happens. Um, been fighting with UPS and Holly. Got some good news. It turned out uh, UPS changed their policies and stuff like that. I don't know if they did it just recently or if it's been like this for a while and just I'm the only person Holly's had in Canada that had you know issues that they've dealt with for a bit but apparently Holly did not have a corporate I'm trying to get the lights out like, it, it, you can see how cold it is by how the lights are shining. Anyways they didn't have like a corporate invoice or whatever for my dash so it sat for a month at UPS because of that. And I got emails back and forth between me and Holly where Holly is saying that UPS has been completely uh, unresponsive and yada yada yada. It got to the point the other day actually where I told Holly, I've had enough, send me a new dash. Like this is BS already, right? And then it was funny because yesterday I was at my daughter's basketball and I got a call from UPS of all people. I couldn't take it because I was busy. And they told me about this Holly stuff. I emailed Holly, told them like, here's what's up. They emailed me back, yeah, we're on it. So hopefully, guys, it'll finally get across the, to the border, to the states, and they can finally take a look at it and we can get it back. And part two of this, we'll be showing you how to program these IOs. And uh, we're going to do it all in one video. The programming of the fuel pump, or the fuel gauge, the signal lights, and hopefully the dimmer. So stay tuned for that. So, But yeah, it's where I'm going to end it. It's cold. I got to head home. I got lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. And we're about to get a blizzard. So, which is crazy, March 10th, and we're about to get a blizzard. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully, this uh, was able to help some of you guys with the OBS trucks that have, that, are, that have the digital dashes and are trying to find your signal light wires. That's what the whole base of this was. So, and next time, we're gonna, like I said, we're going to program it. So, until then, take care of yourself. Stay warm. Love you guys. God bless.